The other day I walked like I was looking at television at the prices of the shares of various companies. And on that particular occasion, all stocks down arrows, arrows pointing down. Until came the stocks of the killing industries, up, up, up. At the time when the masses are paying more for oil to run their cars, I see that the oil companies are making higher and higher profits. And this is the age we live in. This is the world you are inheriting after finishing your university days. Others before you were also idealists gathering to make money to feed the poor, wanting the world to become a better place. But then they come and grow up and they are weak before temptation. They are weak before selfishness. Whether it is personal selfishness, selfishness to my class, selfishness to my color, selfishness to my religion, but selflessness is almost disappearing. As I look at you, I wonder what you will look like 20, 30 years from now. Are you going to be instruments of goodness or instruments of evil? And this question is most important in our days. When the human being has attained the power to destroy the whole planet several times over, you are inheriting this planet. What are you going to do with it? I wonder. The people who are entrusted with humanity today are making a mess and are going down a slope and unless they reverse, humanity will be finished, destroyed. And I would like to tell you that the continuity to the abyss or the reversal to humanity is in your hands. It is only if you remember two or three words. The one, don't be selfish. The one, don't hate. It is easy to say God is love, but it is very, very difficult to do it. And regrettably, even people of faith and religion, of all faiths, of Christianity, of Judaism, and of Islam, they preach love, but do hate. This has to be reversed. 
and there is no one to reverse it. But people like you, who grow up, inherit authority, and they can resist the temptation. You should all combine to save humanity from the abyss it is about to fall into. It is your duty. It is your responsibility. I'm not here to make a speech. I am here to address the future in you and to tell you that now you are idealists. But there is so much temptation on the road ahead. Be stronger than the temptation. And this is the whole story about fasting the month of Ramadan. <coughs> it is the practical exercise in order to conquer temptation. Temptation to eat, to drink, to sex. But the theme is that a human being should not operate under the slogan of be what you are but under the slogan of be what you should be and I trust you keep to this and I will pray for you. Thank you.